Hey, you guys. Happy Friday. Okay. Um, I'm at 189. And I guess on the positive side, my keto stick's looking better. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Because um, it helps me not to get to aggravated at the scale if I know my keto stick looks good because according to Cole as long as your keto stick looks has good color you're burning fat so um, just gonna hang in there and like yesterday I mean, I think I've mentioned before, I, sometimes I struggle getting all my water in. And I know they say that if you don't drink your water, not just snake juice, but, you know, snake juice, water in general, you know, drinking, getting water in is a good way to make sure you don't hold water. And I admit that I'm not always real good at getting a lot of water in. And I try not to, because, you know, they tell us, oh, you know, you got to drink X amount of water. I don't even know what it is. Eight, eight glasses, eight, eight ounce glasses. So 64 ounces. Um, but then, you know, so I've always thought that, you know, and I used to chug water just to chug it, to get it in, to get my eight glasses in every day and then I see a video from Cole who says don't get too crazy with the water because you'll end up flushing out all your electrolytes if you're drinking more fresh water than you are you know your snake juice or what have you <sighs> yeah so anyways I'm not always real good about getting water in. If I I I use uh, Zephyr Hills water, and I think those um, those bottles are like 16 ounce bottles. Um, so I try to get three of those at least in me a day. Um, And I know that's not what they call for, um, but that's okay. Um, I try to get more, but at least three. And then if I can do more, I try to get more in. Um, yesterday, I was trying to make a conscious effort because, you know, I'm hanging on to water. So I'm like, make sure you get your water gotta get you know this water to drop so drink water so I tried to make a conscious effort yesterday to get a lot of water in and I watched a lot of Cole's videos yesterday and he was talking in one of them about drinking water well basically water retention and saying you know if you're drinking a lot of water then you're not peeing a lot, you're holding water. Um, and I noticed that's what happened yesterday because I was trying to make a conscious effort to get a lot of water in. and But I wasn't really peeing a lot. I did pee a lot um, through the night. <sighs> that's not really the truth. <laughs> I didn't pee a lot, but at least I got up. I think I got up twice and peed. Um, so I don't know. And then another thing I was thinking about was um, sometimes if I think I'm not doing well at getting all my snake juice in, and, you know, he's very insistent that you make sure you get all your salts in for the day. So that's another thing that I saw him talk about in a video about you have to get your salts in. I don't care how you get them in but you need to get your electrolytes in so you don't feel like shit 
So that's another thing that I, I do sometimes is if I'm doing crappy on getting my all my snake juice in, um, I will just take a small portion of the salts, you know, of the pink salt and the potassium and just put, you know, just a small portion of it on my tongue and just chug it back with water. Which again, you know, one of the videos, I tried to find the video where he said that, but um, he was saying, you know, if you, if that's the way you want to do it, that's fine. As long as you get the electrolytes in you. So sometimes if I'm getting behind on my snake juice, I might do that once or twice in the day just to make sure I get the whole amount of salts that he um, recommends. I'll, I'll do that, do it that way just to make sure I get my salts in. But then I was thinking, I wonder if that taking it that way, you know, straight like that on my tongue is fine. And it's just like drinking it in in the water and the snake juice. Or could that be affecting me somehow um, with the water retention because I'm taking it that way on my tongue? <sighs> I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at now. Um, today's the 15th. So, uh, I'm, I'm, for the month of February, I'm down 15 pounds, you know, because I lost so much that first week, luckily. <laughs> so now, you know, it's going to get even more stressful because I'm stuck and... You know, each day that goes by and I don't lose, then of course I know I'm getting behind and I may not meet the goal of 28 pounds in 28 days. So, so it's going to get a little bit more stressful from here. But I just have to keep pep talking myself not to, not to do that because as we all know, you don't want to stress out because stress is is no good for weight loss either so I just have to keep pep talking myself and just keep on keeping on um, today's Friday um, so Sunday's a refeed day but now that I'm finally back getting good color on my keto stick um, definitely Friday, I'm um, Sunday on I refeed. I'm just doing meat. You know, I'm just gonna eat meat. I'm gonna have. I've got a small piece of steak. I'm gonna weigh it. It's probably about six ounces, and then I have a chicken breast. I'm gonna have that too. Um, but I'm gonna weigh it all out and see. But Obviously, if I'm just eating meat, I probably ain't going to throw myself out of ketosis because I, it takes me too freaking long to get back in it, so I don't want to do that again. Um, yeah, so that's my game plan is to just refeed on meat on Sunday. and um, That way I can stay in ketosis. At least that's something. At least I, if, even if I'm not dropping weight, if I'm in ketosis it's something for me mentally makes me feel better if I'm at least in good ketosis because according to him you know as long as you're in ketosis you're burning fat and if you're fasting and your ketones are good but you're not dropping the weight there's water so I know I keep saying that, and I don't. I'm not sure if I'm who I'm trying to convince, me or you. <laughs> but anyways.
I mean, I know I'm not gaining weight. I'm not gaining fat. That's common sense when you're fasting. But um, it's annoying, to say the least. Um, what else? What else? I, I really think that's it for today. I didn't have too much. Um, I think I talked before about sleep. And like that I have problems sleeping and he talks about how important sleep is and many of his videos he talks about that and I have had sleep problems for probably like eight years I've had sleep problems where before I fall asleep and not get up until the alarm went off and now I'm fall asleep pretty good but then I'm up you know one, two, three times a night. Um, so last night, but you know, usually I, I wake up and if I pee, you know, I gotta pee, I go pee and then I get back in bed, get comfy and usually I can fall right back to sleep. Or if I wake up and I don't need to pee, then I just turn over and try to get comfy again and I usually do and fall right back to sleep. Um, last night, I woke up, I went to sleep probably about 11, 11.30, somewhere around there. Woke about, woke up at about 1.30, went pee, um, got back in bed, fell back asleep. Got up again at 3.20, and I don't know. <laughs> I, I tried and I tried to get back to sleep, laid there for like 45 minutes, trying to get comfy, trying to fall back to sleep, couldn't, didn't really, you know, I wasn't dying to go pee, but I was like, well, I feel like I could, let me do that, and maybe that'll make me even more comfortable and I can fall back to sleep, so I did that, got back into bed, tried to get comfortable, and I just... I just could not fall back to sleep. So around 4.30, I finally just turned the TV on and laid there and watched TV and started feeling drowsy again after I started watching TV. So I shut it off, tried to get comfy, thinking I was going to be able to fall back to sleep and after I turned the TV off, I just laid there and couldn't go back to sleep. So, um, so I turned the TV back on and just laid there until it was time to get up at 6. And then just got up and did my normal thing. I do feel a little bit tired today. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't like to take naps, but, you know, I may have to, or I might be going to bed super early tonight. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I had that issue. I don't know if it's to do with the fasting or whatever. I know he talks about that as well and says, you know, if you start having trouble sleeping before you go to bed, you know, have eat a couple of apples because the carbs will help you to sleep. Uh, and of course I don't want to do that I mean we see how hard a time I have getting into ketosis and like he talks about you know eating the carbs or eating the two apples so that you can sleep and that you should be back into ketosis you know like within 12 hours or something like that but for whatever reason that just doesn't it's not that easy for me. And maybe because, you know, maybe he's talking about somebody who's really healthy and, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. I just know that if I ate two apples, I, I'm not going to be back in ketosis in 12 hours. So I don't really want to do that. It was just one night. Now, obviously, if two or three nights go by and I'm still doing that waking up that early and not being able to go back to sleep then I might consider it um, but I really don't want to 
because um, now that I'm back with good color on my stick, I want to see if I can stay with good color right through the end of February. Um, and I can do that just by eating meat when I refeed, so. So anyways, and you know, I got, I still got up, got my walk in. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much it for today. And now that I'm done with this and I've talked a bunch of nonsense for 15 minutes. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead and end this and so I can start editing and stuff and get it put up. And then that way I can sit back down because I'm going to binge watch Cole some more. Because um, that's what I did yesterday and I really enjoy it, so... And when I watch my videos back, you guys, I notice I sniffle a lot and I'm, and again, I, I know I don't have hundreds of viewers, but for those of you that watch, I'm sorry I sniffle, but I have allergies. So I got to remember to blow my nose before I start my video, so I'm not sniffling the whole time. Anyways, um, yeah. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And see what that nasty old scale says in the morning. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Take it easy. Keep fasting. Snake on. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.